They theorized about a bacteriological language and, with the help of the PA, sent a message to the colony through appropriate stimuli. They responded, the colony has proposed to follow us on an expedition to the tycoon. We have determined that the best way of transporting the bacteria will be to settle the small colony within the respiratory tract of one of the crew. Get the hell out of here! They're having a laugh, aren't they? I tell you what's the worst can happen. The zombie apocalypse. We have four sectors open and only two sectors left to open and the entire tycoon is functional. Well, it looks like we are now ready to jump to the new sector, except I'm building one thing. One thing, and that is the drone jamming thingy me jiggy thing. This disrupts the drone target existence by flooding BMS frequency with fault. It basically is a DDoS drone. Um, <laughs> it's the DDoS drone. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm building that, um, which is tanking my freaking health integrity. Holy shit, look at that go. Wow, guys, build f faster. Seriously, build faster. Build faster. Much faster. Holy <laughs> crap, look at this health integrity go down. Oh boy, that is plummeting. Okay, we're going to have to spend a little bit of time repairing that. Once this thing is built, I suppose. Great. Um... Now, resources-wise, I'm looking reasonably healthy apart from silicon, and uh, that is probably because I've been prioritizing polymers over everything else. So, silicon is priority for one cargo ship, but there's so much more carbon available in this sector now that uh, that's just filled the cargo hold up and it can't do anything more. Okay, there we go. Whew. The drone is built. We have, we have a countermeasure. Um, I suppose it should appear on the external map here. Yeah, okay, well, all right. Activate missile countermeasures, none available. Where do I get those? Right, let me just check the uh, the researchy thingy here, because we got the Pyrenee. I researched everything on there, so it's not that. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know where we get the missiles from then. That's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, okay. So, currently waiting for a little bit more storage in the docking bays here and also automated drone logistics because I've noticed a bit of a problem when it comes to my food distribution. I have enough food to supply everyone, but the problem is I think that it's taking too long to transfer between sectors now, even with the bloody train stations, even with my drones. Um, sector 6, given the enormous population of now Sector 6, is get up over 2,000. Um, is going through food faster than Sector 6 can supply it. You can see what's going on here. It's literally food is going in and straight out again. And that is problematic. Uh, it could result in starving happening. Uh, yeah, 1,000 of the crew is starving in Sector 6. This is not good. This is not good. So we got yeah a whole whole mess all here, no food in it. And the food is coming in too slowly. Uh, so I have got my drone bay is getting an upgrade at the moment to make it faster. I don't know if I can upgrade the train stations. There doesn't appear to be any upgrades for those. But the drone bays I can increase the maximum number of drones and also the resources they can carry. So I'm going to do that. But obviously my research is at zero. So yeah. Um, I suppose ideally what I, what I in hindsight should have done is put the food sector next to the population sector and what's turned out has, is that my food sector is at the opposite side of the station to the population center so well the most food needs to go it needs to go An a long way the and the drones you can see wow this thing is barely filling up at the moment so I'm kind of like, well, what the hell do I do right now? I am a little bit of a, a, a pickle with this one, I'm going to say. Um, what I am thinking is that I add a large maintenance bay here, albeit it's kind of crap placement, but, you know, it's what I've got at the moment, and turn that into food. That can go straight in there and in the trains. Also, with a large bay, I believe they can, they have more little dudes to move stuff, right? The stockpiles. Stockpiles can send one more transporter. Let's line that up as well. We need to solve this logistics problem before we have 
180, that's better. That's better than a thousand people starving in Sector 6. Fortunately, Sector 6 is still happy, even with this. Trust in your leadership is falling. Shit. Uh, okay. That was... Power supply overloaded. That was not good. That was this guy, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... Ooh, okay, well, we can we can probably salvage that by turning off a couple of a dude there. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, everything okay? Good, 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 good. <laughs> Ooh, right. Right, my EVA airlock, airlock is as, as good as it's ever going to be. But that power drop means that I probably need another solar panel. So let's have a little look. See what we got. Set one, set two. We're both on the same thing. So this guy is next. 247 polymers, which I have, and six thingies. I mean, now is the time to build it. The hull is as good as it's probably going to get at this point. And uh, I have the polymers to do it. Now, what I'm going to do in order to make sure that... Power supply overloaded. We can... Um, there we go. <laughs> so we got the batteries. You, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Batteries have got this. Oh my god. Everything's getting a little bit knife edgy, you know? And this is where we have no objectives other than to jump to the next sector. But the population has just exploded. And we're going to need another population center, unless I can research maybe cramming them more into the uh, cell housing here, because Sector 6 has got 2,590 capacity, but there's already 2,471 people here. And there's 700 cryopods still to thaw out. I'm tempted to open Sector 5 because it's right next to the population and, and basically um, put more food over there. The thing is, it's like I have enough food to cover 148% food capacity. These drones are amazing. They're so fast, but they don't carry a lot. But look at this guy go. He'll go straight there and he'll drop off like 10, I think, and gone instantly. So that's the situation. We have a logistical nightmare going on with food. Um, it's a nightmare of my own creation here, but the addition... Oh my god. It's when it's going to export to the other sectors. Everything slows down. Got to export to three different sectors, and it's like there are not enough drones to do this. So... Hopefully, my automated logistics drone bay, an extra drone will help. Hopefully, the large storage I put here is going to help. Anyway, it looks like the um, solar panels have been built. Look at those freaking monsters. Yeah, that's got some serious solar. Serious solar on it now. Maybe it started out with just like these little panels around it. <laughs> Nothing. Now it's like huge arrays. Okay, so we can probably turn this guy off now. Generating 75 power, but eating through that hydrogen very quickly. There we go, got 56 power left. Okay, good. There's hydrogen in there as well, so next time we turn it on, it will just instantly start producing power. I'm going to wait for the hull integrity to just fill up a little bit better, maybe up to about 600. And then I think we're going to jump out of here into whatever awaits us next. So this system, I mean, there's still loads of resources dotted around, but we've got all the cryopods now by the looks of it. And most of what's left is carbon and ice and hydrogen, all of which we're pretty full up on. Okay, I think we're good. I think it, we're, you're going to spend all day here trying to pick up the rest of these resources. We just don't have the room and there's no more silicon in this sector. So I've got my waste plant currently working on making chips from waste, but... Um, has I think we're good to go. Meal cycle is about to end. So this is as good a point any. I don't know where we're going to get missile countermeasures from, but we'll figure it out. Let's um, let's go. In accordance with Ralph Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. All ships are back, right? Commence. Oh. I always love it. But then the jump, it's always exciting. It's always exciting and terrifying at the same time, because who knows what the game is going to throw at us next. At this time, it threw a storm. In this jump, it might throw an enemy ship that's armed to the teeth. The Tycoon is completely unarmed and is fragile as hell. I do love that jump, jump animation, though. 
I watch it every single time because it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Down similar space. Weird. But cool. Oh well, it's a planet. Not a debris field, so that's a plus. Jump complete. Yep. Running preliminary diagnostics. Expected, Expected permanent damage. Irreversible damage to the tycoon detected. Yep. Calculations indicate the system's pulsar is dormant. Oh, that's good, because otherwise Sensors it'd be fucked. The Piranesi, currently powered down. Interesting. You must find a way to retrieve the Remus coordinates from it. Act with extreme caution, Administrator. Oh, okay. So the Perinaci is here, but it's powered down. There it is. Over there, look. And we have a storm. Okay. Well, integrity minus four. Ooh. That's not good. <laughs> That's really not good. Okay, we will need another EVA thing then, then I believe, because um, well, yeah, we, we that's it. We don't have they they can't be upgraded anymore. So we can get some science from here. Straight away, let's do that. We have the Perrin AC. Let's see what we've got around locally. Big silicon signature right there. We'll do that. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Let's leave it to collect the science before we do anything. Now this minus four is interesting, so now I, I imagine that the lower the hull integrity gets, the higher their efficiency would be. This minus four will turn into a plus soon, but it probably means that our hull integrity is probably gonna sit around about fifty percent and just sort of jump around that area. We're going to need to open another sector. And it's a sector that needs to have Right, okay, I think I'm going to be Sector 5 because that's closer to Sector 1's iron supply. Has completed its scale. Um, there's no way I'm going to get another EVA lock in this sector here without, well, some serious remodeling. I'd have to get rid of the four houses. Which, in fairness, I could probably do. There is... There's enough housing here. Should I just get another EVA lock here? Need to find somewhere to put all those cryopods. Yeah, I think there is no other option. We're going to have to open sector four, uh, five. Yeah, uh, minus two now, so it is going up. All right. Probe scan complete. New probe available. No? Interesting. Let's get on with that then, people. There it is. All right. Probe available. Let's stay away from the storm from now on. Oh, here we go. Carbon and ice. Right. Um, I need to reprioritize all my cargo ships again. Okay, let's see what this planet is about. Uh, all right, so it's asking for 50 alloys and two thingies for setting up a decent infrastructure. Uh, landed on 12H, a planet with intense geological activity. Fishes expel gas into the atmosphere and canyons run deep across the planet's surface. We have located a stable area where we should be able to study 12H. Phenomena, 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 phenomena. Cool. Uh, yeah, I got the resources, so go for it. Um, I'm guessing the Quicksilver will do. Lovely. See what they come up with on that. I am dreading this right here. I've got no countermeasures available, and I don't really know how to get countermeasures available. There are no... There's nothing to build out here. You know what I mean? And there's nothing I can see to research in here other than this question mark, which I'm sure is probably going to be available as soon as we approach the Perinin and NSE. I need to resolve this hull integrity issue before I go any further, though. And it's going to be, get a lot worse before it will get better because I have to open a sector. 
which is another minus eight. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this. It's going to be rough. But, uh... A science ship team has completed a task. It needs to be done. Science ship has completed a task. Now, this is going to be interesting. We completed a theoretical model of 12H during our studies. Diego Sanchez showed signs of mental distress, concerned that gas explosions were the cause. We carried out a standard suit integrity test. No breaches were found within their suit. Later, while we were submitting the results, Diego Sanchez was seen leaving the research site. Okay. Diego Sanchez left the research site. The rest of the team were dispatched to find him, retrieve, and treat them accordingly. Yeah, um, find him. So 100 research to extract, so... That's tasty. <laughs> it's really tasty. I want to see this storm. Will it advance as I complete this mission? It's going to be interesting, in which case I might have to move the tycoon up over here, which is also going to tank our integrity quite severely. Okay, um, I've still got a little ways to go, so we can go back to probing the local area. Let's try and concentrate on up around here, I say. There's some ice. There's an iron signature there. Big iron signature. There we go. Got another planet there. There's a big iron field, carbon iron and silicon all here with a bit of ice as well. We have everything we need in the short term to keep going. But obviously we're going to need more than that. We just need the food to transfer over now. All right, so the reports from the Knepes team have become inconsistent, indicating psychological instability. According to the most recent transmission, the team is following the tracks of Diego Sanchez towards the house. The team will enter the house to find Diego. What? <laughs> it's like gooey stuff on the surface here. It's crazy. Is this planet alive? I'm curious. I am curious to find out. What the hell is the house? I mean, let's be honest, Naomi Protocol should be renamed to YOLO Protocol, right? So let's go enter the house. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, there we go. So integrity, integrity is now minus eight. So we've got to move real quick here. Um, right. So let's go. So let's go standard arrangement then. Okay. And... gonna have to move stuff around as always around here but there we go the sector should be unlocked with all of that okay let's start pulling in some of this material get this place working so what i need is storage areas for cryopods and then i can delete these houses and we need a storage area for um alloy as well because there's not enough alloy space here to store all the alloys from these apartments and these storages. All right, science team has completed the task. My crew members lost. <laughs> Calm's contact with the uh, team has been lost for a short time. We were still receiving mission reports. The house is much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Has no interior light source and contains a series of mazes. Last report speaks of thumping sounds being heard. Shortly after this was received, the crew's suit signals were turned off and one after the other. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Repatriate the Corpernicus. Bring the ship back. It's just it's difficult with this game, I tell you. Uh, you want to investigate, you want to do something. It's, its answer is to just kill everyone. It's just like, there isn't like some curious little adventure that they, they get out of. It's not Star Trek Next Generation. No, 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 no. It's just a freaking horror film every step of the way. I, I'm... I'm almost tempted in every single scientific situation where it's like, oh, this is unusual. I'm just like, leave. Just leave. Because it's going to kill you. They, they, the game doesn't have any other solution other than to just kill you with this sort of stuff. It really doesn't. It's quite disappointing and, and annoying, really. But there we go. There's another five members of the crew gone, I suppose. I don't know why the, the ship is taking so long to get back to the tycoon, but... Oh, new crew members are boarding. All right, okay, fine. <sighs> well, we'll be just, uh, yeah, anyway. Ran over. Extract that science, please. That is going to be lovely. Looks like the storm didn't move. I don't think it did. It looks like it's exactly where it was. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Right, we still got this section one to deal with. Okay, this is going to be alloys. And then let's get another one right next to it for all of those cryopods. 
Alright, so now that sec this sector's now got room for the EVA being annoying one block there, but I think the EVA airlock basically fit in there. As I just need to get rid of that polymers thing. So, um, right. What I might do then is switch one of these guys off of iron. Like this guy, it makes sense because then they're all in a row. Switch him to polymers. Then, then this one off of polymers and I need to demolish it. All right, so I sent a uh, new science ship. Well, I need a new crew to the same science ship, but a new crew to PSR B1257 plus 12E. Rolls off the tongue, that does, doesn't it? Right. Um, okay, it looks like a colonizable planet. We have landed on 12E, although it is a much warmer and more humid climate than on Earth. It does possess oxygen and other materials that would be would prove useful for a colonization test. Okay, it looks like we can establish a large colony with 200 colonists here. I think this is a good one. Um, okay, a advanced Noyakono colony infrastructure, 40 alloys, 20 food, 200 colonists. We've got them. Uh, let's do it. And we are going to send the Diogenes, who has all the colonists and stuff. 720 colonists. No food. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's establish a colony. Now, he's got to go through that storm, but the science ship made it through that storm fine, and they've got the same hull reinforcement, so I'm just hoping that the colonists make it through the storm as well. Um, otherwise, that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Bloody hell, can you imagine? The outrage that would happen. The outrage would be strong. All right, there we go. The new EVA airlock is going up as well. I think I've got the, um, the workers here. Yep, plenty of workers and power just about, and that should hopefully get our hull integrity flying above... 50% there or thereabouts. We have got enough iron in storage to fire up this guy as well. 13 power usage and I'm down to 25 while I'm also building sector 5. So that's uh, it's a little bit... Yeah, I'm not overly enthusiastic about it, I have to admit. Uh, right, okay, sector 5 though, we can continue building. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to specialize this sector, I've got to be honest. At the moment, it has drones and lots of storage. So maybe it'll just be a overflow storage area. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, it could be. Oh, I suppose, yeah, I have an overpopulation issue of Sector 6 as well, of course. So I guess this could also be population. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to build one of the final solar panels that we can build. Um, set final set of set one that leaves the final set of set two over there and uh, and then that's it that is as much solar as we can get so yeah it'll be interesting yeah <laughs> it's gonna look awesome on the tycoon but yeah um after that we are gonna have to rely on nuclear power and having a good stock of hydrogen constantly because if we run out of hydrogen just like as if we run out of alloys or well, pretty much anything else to be fair <laughs> we're screwed <laughs> so hopefully that will happen nice and quickly um just wait for the last bits of polymers to come in by the looks of it should be reasonably straightforward oh boy right so the polymers can go down to 50 percent over here now but they can all go to 50 percent and that means where they are produced Anyway, there we go. Lots of things flying everywhere, isn't it? And the food situation, still diabolical on the logistics. I have two drone bays now, though. I have a new drone bay in Sector 5. I figured this would probably be good for storage and logistics and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I need to just go through and make sure that everything is set accordingly. I mean, Sector 3 has all the food. It's just a case of getting out of Sector 3 into Sector 6. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that seems to be progressing okay. I don't have any starvation warnings here, so... Uh, fingers crossed we're okay. There goes a meal cycle, so all that food is about to disappear. DLS Center in Sector 5 is stable due to an accident. Well, that's fine. Uh, we've got a couple of cell housing up here now in Sector 5, so we are offloading population overflow from 6 to 5 now as well. Okie dokie. There we go. Um, now, everything else here, I think maybe we can put our exo-fighting drone in here as well. 
would be a good one. Um, we need the train station built here as well, which we do. We may as well just get that done. Um, and then, yeah, we'll build this up, I think, as we need to. I'm not sure what to specialize it in. Food. Zero of the crew is starving in Sector 6. Lovely. Thanks for letting me know. All right. The solar panel, I think, is built. Our hull integrity took about uh, half integrity off building that. So, but now look at that. Plus 56 between my three EVA airlocks. That's lovely. That's working really nicely now. Um... And yeah, we've got overflow storage in Sector 5 for Alloy now as well. So we literally are so... We have got almost 2,000 Alloys across the board here. Absolutely mental how much Alloy we've got. Plus we've got all the cleanup to do over here. Carbon, I was going to power this up, but I wanted to wait for that. And then because we've got a ridiculous amount of carbon over in Sector 2, I'm going to offload it, some of it over here into Sector 5 just temporarily so that I can free up the docking bay in Sector 2 because that was getting clogged up with the amount of carbon that sat there. Looks like I'm going to need to do the same for silicon as well. Okie dokie. That's fine. We can do that. Let's cram a silicon thing in here somewhere. Then we'll do the same thing. All right, our uh, colony is established. They will periodically send data and stuff like that. There we go, just a little bit of science there. I've also discovered an unknown structure right next to this planet. We're going to go ahead and straight to that and have a little look-see of what this is. Okay, uh, there is some wreckage here, not much larger in size than the, than the science ship contained within its distress beacon. The emit signal is incredibly similar to those of the Tycoon users. Uh, investigate. Investigate. Investigate, please. Probably use, possibly use a second science ship. Um, I mean, it's not too difficult to make one, to be honest, because... Sector... Sector 6? Uh, yeah, Sector 6 has got a fair slot, so we do that. All right. So I've turned on body recycling in the, under policies here as well. Um, now, this means that we get more waste produced. So um, I'm wondering about increasing our mushroom wall amount and also setting up maybe... Um, another water station and some farms in sector five just to sort of ease the food burden a little bit on sector three and also you know fix that logistics delay uh okay oh what we got here the team has identified a fragment of wreck of the part of the type as part of the tiger a large amount of browse tachyons are detected in the air as well as frozen corpse of tycon crew member constantine sapov Reviews DLS data confirms that Constantine Sapov is alive and well on the station. Icon engineers have also verified that the components and plating found at the wreck are still in their proper place on the Tycoon. Oh, what? 800 cryopods and 100 science. What? What? <laughs> what nonsense is going on here? Dismantle! <laughs> it's just, what? Okay, so we've got part of the tycoon is there. Oh my lord, what what futures freaking echo are we seeing here? Uh, I don't want to even. I don't want to even postulate right now. What the hell is going to happen? You can implement a new policy. All right, the iceberg science ship is up and running. So let's get two science ships running, and we we are going to have to go and see the Peronesi soon. I am aware, but I am also like. Available to mine. Well, it just takes that just takes probing. Right, the wreck has been successfully demanded. The recovered resources are ready for cargo ship pickup. There is no trace left of the strange phenomenon. Twenty two alloys, one circuit board, sedation cell upgrade unlocked for cell housing. Leave the area. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Hold the phone a second, yeah. Cell housing. Um. Wow, 60% capacity. The suspended beds infirmary upgrade is required to unlock them. Okay, suspended beds in the infirmary. False perspective ceiling. Alright, let's let's research some of this stuff. Right, and what was it in the infirmary? Where's the infirmary? There it is. Suspended beds. We'll line that up as well. Let's get this research done. Alright. 
So sector, this sector over here, we're going to need another storage here for the ice. <laughs> we're going to create some water over here and a couple of algae farms. And hopefully that will ease the logistics burden into sector six for food. Now, with the increase of... Um, Administrator, you can implement a new policy. The increase of capacity in cell housing, that will mean the Sector 6 population can continue to rise, which it will because it is continuing to thaw people out. Although I have got some... Never, never mind, I did have some cryopods over here. I'll actually use that for ice then in that case. Then you offer something else. Um, yeah, Sector 3 is going to continue. Right, so let's say, can we have 200 ice over here, please? Right. Now we need a fusion center. Fusion station. Can we fit that in that nice little... Oh, that's almost perfect. Almost, not quite. Let's turn it around the other way so that it's facing where the farms will be. And, uh, okay, that will go there. Now... Um, we're going to need to clear this up a bit, aren't we? Because we're going to need to fit some more buildings in here. Anyway, uh, there was a science ship over here had done some stuff. Right. Oh. Okay. So, we have located a promontory where we could land the iceberg. Conditions on the planet are extremely dangerous. Soaring temperatures, unusual gravity. We recommend only a quick surface analysis opposed to any further exploration that could lead to human and material losses. Uh, well... In that case, we want to establish a basic station, right? The bulwark, I guess. That sounds dangerous. But also awesome. Right, and the other science ship is done. So head back to the colony. Pick up that science there, please, boss. There's 68 sciences waiting there. Look at that. we got 300 science. Science! <laughs> it's amazing. We are going to need to upgrade our tech lab, so I'm going to use this science to really hammer home the tech lab upgrades here. Let's get that one first, because that unlocks the next one, and the next one, and the next one, so on and so forth. Okay, so, <clears throat> while we were conducting our analysis of 12D, we witnessed a phenomenon we thought unlikely. Lava tides. An unforeseen rapid shift in geothermal activity led to the promontory being engulfed. Louise Lemal gave their life to bring our research out from the study station so that the mission was not in vain. Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, well, leave, leave the planet. My god, why do keep people keep dying? Stop dying, everybody. Just stop it. Just stop it, okay? Just, just stop. Okay, we have um, a science ship here. Let's, let's go investigate the pulsar at the center here. And then we've got that planet there. I'm glad the storm doesn't move. That's lovely. We can work around that. It's also not lethal, which helps. Which really bloody helps <laughs> does does the perinacea sea is there okay um the resources around the media area are starting to dry up there's crap tons over here i'm tempted to move the tycoon over here but i know that's it pretty much unless there's more stuff down here which in fairness there is a lot more stuff down here all right i'm gonna move the tycoon i'm gonna move it over here which is crazy but it's just about the right amount of crazy. I'm going to lose a bit of hull integrity while it's moving. I should imagine that might go up as soon as we cross over into this storm threshold here. Caution. Entering stellar storm. Maybe we're okay. Uh, meanwhile, we've got a science ship. The oh, Copernicus oh, is done scene. with that. All right. Let's, uh, God. Let's just do it. Piranassi, here we go. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here, but uh, I don't like it. Definitely don't like it. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay. The Piranassi has been located. Initial visuals indicate that it has suffered heavy damage. Our sensors are not detecting any activity on board the ship. We have entered the Piranassi. There is neither light source nor gravity within the ship. Many modifications have been made to its structure. The walls are of an unknown shiny black metal that distorts the vision. 
The corridors we pass through are sometimes similar in design to those of Dollos or the UN. In some places, however, the passageways are almost organic in shape. We did discover a large memorial. The statue at its center is obscured by the many cables, pipes and conduits that led away from it to the ship. We could make out the words property of the BMS at its base. If the team was not so anxious, we would have stopped to carry out further observations. Locate the Remus coordinates. All right. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Oh yeah, Sector 5 didn't have any batteries. <laughs> Sorry guys! Oh boy. <laughs> everybody's pissed off. Uh, everybody's missed a meal. Ooh, that could really hurt the trust. Oh, yep. Yep. Trust is still plus 5. 1.5. <laughs> I don't know how, but we're okay. Okay. Has occurred in the tycoon. All right, just crack on, yeah? Okay, who's the Piranesi? Here we go. We have found them. The devices holding the Remus coordinates are being behind a heavy reinforced door. We've tried several different approaches to open it, but haven't even succeeded in scratching it. Connecting the tycoon and Eden to the Piranesi would allow us to power the reactivate the door's control subsystem. The connection is also necessary for the extraction and transfer of the Remus coordinates from the devices to the tycoon. Administrator, one other thing. Shortly before we found the device, we passed an effigy of Giovanni Battista, former member of the Marduk Council. I could needs to be in orbit of the Piranesi. Okay, you know what's going to happen here then. I, I, you know what's going to happen here. I, it's what, what, what is going to happen is as soon as I connect the Tycoon to the Piranesi, that thing is going to turn back on. And all of its automated defense systems are going to come online and it's going to attack my ship and we're all going to die. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Right, have you all calmed the f down yet? Or are you still pissy? Right, yeah, you will calm the shit down, right? Eight plus 8.7 trust. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah? Faith. Have a little fucking faith, you bunch of ingrates. Honestly. Do you, after all these years, have I ever let you down? Whoa. A small group of crew members have been meeting secretly and fighting against each other. It seems to have had a positive impact on their morale. They have submitted a project proposal for an exo fighting dome. It could be a good idea to develop this. It might provide wider benefits. Uh, yeah, I can afford it. Okay, I will build an exo fighting dome for you bunch of ingrates. Yeah, freaking malcontent, scumbaggery bastards. All right, fine. So, get rid of this a second. Now, the Exo Fighting Dome is a big be beast of a building. Ah, you son of a bastard farm. You son of a farm. Okay. Well, I'll put it there. I'll put it behind. It'll be fine. It'll go there and... Lovely. Okay, let's have a little look-see. What's going on over here? Um, we have completed our colony study. Uh, success rate of the planet's like 12 year estimated to be 34.8. Please authorize extraction preparation. Retratriate the colonists. That's fine. You crack on, guys. Get your butts back here. Okay. And the iceberg will then set for PSR, blah, 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 blah. Plenty of resources around this system, I tell you. Also, potentially another planet around here. There it is. That'd be good. We can move the tycoon there and then to the Piranasi, maybe. Lovely. 200 colonists ready to reboard the tycoon. Mashing. Iceberg. You can head off over there now. Okay. Everything is coming along reasonably well. The upgrades to the cell housing have really kicked in already. Um, let's get the last two upgrades for them and really increase the capacity of them. Okay, and we can get two-factor authentication. Accidents will no longer occur in the nuclear power plants. I like that. I like that. Construction costs reduced by 40%. Very much, very nice. 30% fewer workers required. Oof, yeah, we need to, we need to, yeah. Look at this fucking thing though. This is, this is massive. This is huge. What a beast of a build. <laughs> uh, 
Wow. A science ship has arrived at its destination. The Exo Fighting Dome. Uh, oh, wait. How much power did that thing use? 40. Uh oh. Turn it off. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Okay, but the hull integrity is max. So, um, let's get that set, the final set of solar power panels working then. Do you know what that means, though? It means that as soon as those panels are done, that is it. I can no longer create any more uh, renewable energies. That's it. That's, all, that's, all, that's it. Yeah. Crap, right? Wait, no. Um, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Use the space a little bit more efficiently. Fine, we'll have a big, big weird mess of roads going on there. Look at it. They all get confused. Get a bit of lag now. <laughs> They'll just walk around the plaza <laughs> like a bunch of morons. All right, our food production is 158%. Uh, yeah, okay. Science ship over here. Okay, measuring devices. Launch autonomous analysis drones. I like that. We have descended into the upper atmosphere of 12G updrafts and downdrafts of ionized hydrogen from purple shade tornadoes and immense green cumulus clouds. A grouping of tornadoes surround and circle a massive cyclone on the planet, larger than enough in size to be observable from space. That's cool. Uh, autonomous analysis drone. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, they can all deliver it, so we'll go with the the whale yeah they're all about the same distance away so the whale it is cool oh they still don't like building solar panels so i'm kind of glad that this is the last one 120 hull integrity points i'm losing per cycle i mean it's good they're gonna complete the uh the panels in time but look at how fast that Goes. All integrity below 50%. Yeah. There we go. And then it's plus 68. But there we go. Okay. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. So we could turn this on then. Provides two stability in a sector. The bonus can be extended to each sector committed via train station. <laughs> a science ship team has completed a task. That's brilliant. That's probably a little fighting dome. <laughs> In the little exosuits. Fantastic. Love that. Absolutely nuts. I really love it. Nobody can get in it at the moment. <laughs> the entrance seems to be there, but having connected a pathway there. We'll just breeze over that point. Yeah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so the drone fabrication pattern Kuti Man took off from the cargo bay of the iceberg and descended into the lower atmosphere. The collection data allowed the crew to update theoretical models. Um, the team has concluded that the pulsar activity of the system has had significant impact on the atmospheric conditions present on 12G. The phenomena observed are unexplainable without external factors. 50 sciences. Uh, while preparing to depart 12G, the crew of the iceberg spotted something unusual, different from the observed meteorological phenomena, a translucent tubular formation pierces the cloud cover and rises high into the atmosphere. Uh, I mean, I, I hear the word pierce and I'm just instantly like, well, great. That ship's lost, isn't it? This is my problem. I don't, I, I would like to find out more about this. I mean, the, the game tempts you with this. Oh, look, oh, look, there's a thing you could investigate. Could be worth more sciences. But I know it's just going to kill me. So leave. Sorry. You've ruined it, game. You've ruined the intrigue. You punish exploration. You punish curiosity. You punish intrigue. So why bother? <laughs> That's it. And on that freaking rant, it is time to end. We have run out of time today's episode, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but we are in the new sector. The Piranasi is here. I need to move the Tycoon there, but we are going to do it slowly but surely. I'm going to move the Tycoon along over here and then probably up round um, to the Piranasi from there. Fully expecting, of course, 
um, the next thing to happen with Piranesi to reactivate and destroy the Tycoon. Or at least attempt to, anyway. I still don't know how to get active count missile countermeasures. I'm hoping I'll find it somewhere around here. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe... Maybe it was that piercing purple shaft thing that would have killed my freaking science ship. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I do hope you're enjoying the series still. Thank you very much for watching. As always, it's greatly appreciated. And hopefully I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.